Hi everyone, Priya again on Feathers and Ferns and today I am going to do a tutorial on making farmhouse kitchen inspired tags. So for this tags, firstly I am going to take this paper. This is a, a Maya paper and I am going to use this paper for making the background of the tag. I am going to use this gingham side of the paper and I am going to use it using PVA glue on my previously cut cereal box tag. And once it is stuck nicely, I will trim off all the excess of this paper. And after that, my basic background of the tag is ready and I will start working on this tag now. So this is my pretty background. I really love this paper because it has a very soft vintage feel but it is not overpowering. The colors are very soft and it has a slight distressed look as well. Then I have this very old uh, cookery book and i'm going to use this book this book has a lot of recipes in it and i cut a, a few of these recipes already so these recipes are going to be on the tag and i'm using uh, this uh, card stock paper this is in soft pink color and i'm cutting a mat for this image for this uh, recipe image and before i stick both of them together i'm going to distress the edges of both using distressed ink uh, in a vintage photo i am not heavily inking these papers because i do not want them to look super super old i just want to define the edges so once that thing is done these two papers will i'm going to stick them together again using pva glue <laughs> which is my favorite glue i use pva glue for almost everything so these two papers will be stuck together that's done and now i want one more image and i'm going to take this pretty image from this paper this paper is by alexander ranke i will put links to this paper in the description box below so i want to choose one image and i decided to use one of the images and i'm just going to cut this image For this image also, I want to uh, use matte. So again, I'm going to use this uh, cardstock paper in soft pink, and I'm going to cut this cut uh, matte for this image. And once that is done, I will slightly ink the edges of both the image as well as matte, so just to define the edges. And again, I will use the same ink uh, by Tim Holtz in Vintage Photo. That's done and this image and the mat will be stuck together uh, using PVA glue. the embellishments i am taking this cotton twine and i am wrapping it around the recipe card a number of times and then i will tie it at the back of this recipe card doing this will give some dimension as well as a soft uh, farmhouse shabby chic feel to this tag done and then i decided to use this pretty yellow gingham fabric and i decided to use it now because also it looks nice with the gingham background which is in white and soft brown so this yellow will look 
pretty in front of that soft background and also it will give an appearance of like a kitchen napkin <laughs> like a farmhouse kitchen napkin on this tag and this is my plan so i'm going to cut a square piece and i'm putting this fabric around this cotton twine in a way that it looks that uh, a kitchen napkin is hanging in the kitchen <laughs> I am just using a bit of PVA glue here and there so that this fabric doesn't come off. So once that is done, now I want to adhere recipe card on the tag. So for that, I just took some uh, scrap cardboard scraps. These are again from cereal box and I am putting them behind this recipe card. This will help me give some raised look so once this tag attaches to the sorry once this recipe card attaches to the tag it will be slightly raised so that will give me some dimension to my tag and i think it's going to look pretty <laughs> again using pva glue for everything now everything goes on the tag both the recipe card as well as the image that i had prepared just now i felt that this fabric is way too long so i just cut a little bit though it is still hanging out of the tag but i just cut it cut it a little bit And now I have something really cute for this uh, project. I have this very cute fun paper from Alexander Renke. I will also put link to this paper in the description box below. And it has these pretty jam jars and preserved jars. So I fussy cut them already. And I'm thinking of using these little teeny tiny fussy cut uh, embellishments on this tag. I'm slightly going to de-stress the edges of these tiny embellishments as well before they go onto the tag. So at this stage tag looks quite complete but I still wanted to do a bit more of work. I have another of this Alexander Ranke uh, paper and then I decided to use this little tiny embellishment on it. It says handmade with love at home. So I thought that it will look nice here also the colors will coordinate well. So I'm just fussy cutting this. After that I will distress the edges and then I will paste it on my tag. So my tag looks quite complete now. In the end, I realized that I had forgotten to uh, ink the edges of the tag. So I'm just doing it now using vintage photo distressed ink, though I should have done it in the beginning because now it's a bit difficult with all the embellishments. Back side of this tag, again to get some writing space, I'm sticking a piece of uh, tea dyed paper and then I will cut all the excess of the paper using my scissors.
I'm very happy with how this tag has turned up and then I just realized that I have got this pretty retro kind of gingham uh, printed buttons and I thought this button will just give a little pop of colors to this tag and I thought maybe I can just add this I hope it is not <laughs> looking overdone but I still wanted to use this so I uh, attached this button to my tag using pva glue and i think now i should stop so just to finish off this tag now i'm punching a hole on the top of the tag and then i'm taking a art twine as well as i'm taking this yellow gingham fabric i had used this fabric on the tag as a napkin also so i'm just taking a long strip of uh, gingham fabric as well as cotton twine wrapping it a few times and this goes on top of the tag as a ribbon of the tag So this tag is ready please let me know what you think of this tag i also made two more tags of camera so please let me know how you find them and if you like this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel write me a comment and thank you so much for being here and i will see you very soon bye